everyone, Uncle Jesse here. Fair warning, this is gonna be a little bit of a rant video. I haven't made one of these in a while, but figured I wanted to talk with you about the status of 3D printers today and why the heck don't they all come pre-built with cameras, Wi-Fi, and mobile apps. This is the MakerBot Mini. This is my very first 3D printer that I picked up back in 2015, and this thing was just not a good machine whatsoever. It barely 3D printed, uh, it was way overpriced, build volume is crazy small, no heated bed, lots and lots and lots of issues with this thing. But what MakerBot did amazing with this unit is they had a camera built into it, a mobile app and wireless slicing support. So that means that I could, on my computer, slice a file and send it directly to the 3D printer. I could monitor my 3D prints directly from my phone. If I wanted to, I could start a 3D print. Does this kind of sound familiar with another video that I just recently did? But what I, I guess the point I'm getting to is it's 2022. Why isn't this the standard with all of these machines now? This just makes no sense to me whatsoever. Back in 2015, I got this machine. I was so excited. I was actually thrilled with having just a 3D printer and being able to make things. I actually found a set of Iron Man gauntlets here or gloves that I was attempting to make and get the scaling right. The print quality just looks horrendous on this thing. The machine is so loud when it 3D prints and I'm not even gonna see if it still works. I'm just keeping it right around this sort of a reminisce or a, a collector's item here. Maybe I'll bronze dip it or something like that and put it on display somewhere here in the studio. What I loved about the machine wasn't the print quality, it was all of the other things things that came with it. And when I ended up buying my second 3D printer, which was the BQ Wit Box, I was like, wait, there's no mobile app? There's no camera? What's going on? And then I got my third 3D printer, which was the BQ Hephaestos, uh, which yet again was just a horrible machine. Did, also did not have a camera or mobile app or monitoring or anything like that. And then I ended up buying a Creality CR10, which yet again didn't have any of those things and so on and so on and so on. And yes, I know you can install Octoprint and use a uh, Raspberry Pi and install cameras on a lot of your machines. I don't wanna do that. I'll be honest, I don't wanna do that. I wanna have that baked into the machine. <laughs> the cameras that are being used on these machines aren't amazing and they don't need to be amazing. And I just don't understand why having a Wi-Fi module built into printers and being able to wirelessly send these things directly to the machines, again, isn't standard in machines today. And whether or not you like Anchor's upcoming 3D printer or not, I'm really hoping at minimum, we start seeing more mobile apps, more cameras built into these, more intelligent monitoring. Heck, this 3D printer here, it would alert me if I got a filament jam on a 3D print. That's crazy. I have no other machine that will do that today. The best I have today that will do some of what this was able to do is my Raze 3D N2 Plus. And yes, again, I know some other machines out there have cameras, like I think some of the Flash Forge series of printers have those, but it's not widely seen as something that's built into 3D printers or even having a basic mobile app support for notifications of when my print is completed or just status updates so I can check in on the 3D print. Having that all baked in and actually work really well would be something I'd love to see more of in this whole space and not have to buy add-ons and build on and modify your 3D printers to be able to support all of those things. Also, one other really cool thing that we're starting to see more of is cameras going into resin 3D printers. So Anycubic has, uh, with their new series of printers, I think the M3, was it, has a camera that comes or that you can add on to the, to the unit. And then uh, Piopoli has a new resin 3D printer that they're also gonna be releasing that has a camera built in so that you're able to monitor your prints as it's printing. So you don't have to keep checking in and seeing how everything's going on those 3D prints. I would honestly think that the Prusa printers would have something like this already baked into them, but I don't think they do. Maybe I'm just uh, overlooking something there. I hope the XL has it. And again, let me know what you think. Maybe there's other options out there that are better suited for this that I'm just not considering. And I know there's uh, some other upcoming products as well that should at least get us partially there for plug and play support for some of these things without having to 
do coding and Raspberry Pi. And by the way, have you seen the prices of pies over on uh, Amazon? It's insane, absolutely insane. But again, let me know what you guys think. Uh, just a small rant video here on uh, my thinking of where these printers should be in 2022. I mean, mobile apps, cameras, notifications, that should all be standard with every printer that's created now. Hey, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.